I noticed something interesting on my iPhone 10 that when I move the phone rapidly, if the screen is uh, dimmer than full brightness, I noticed an interesting kind of strobing effect. And I tried to capture it uh, with the high-speed camera on an iPhone 6s, but because the iPhone 6s has a rolling shutter, uh, we don't really get to capture the effect. Uh, we get this sort of weird other effect where everything looks like it's sort of tearing and wobbling. So you can clearly see that there's something going on where the whole screen isn't refreshing consistently, but uh, it, it doesn't really convey what the effect looks like in real life. It's kind of interesting though, so I thought it would show it. And for comparison, you can see that when this is at full brightness, again, it's a little bit wobbly, but uh, the point here is that the whole screen seems to be moving uniformly, so there's not these like weird lines moving across the screen. So there's clearly something different going on when the phone is at full brightness. And for comparison, I thought I would try it with an Apple Watch, which also has an OLED screen. This is uh, an original Series Zero launch day Apple Watch, repaired with a bit of wood because it broke. And uh, you can see at low brightness, it's not doing anything weird in terms of a flicker. And uh, for completeness, at full brightness, it is also not doing anything weird. And by the way, I'm using the uh, iPhone app uh, Big Words to show the text on the iPhone and Apple Watch. So. The high-speed camera was a bit of a bust. It showed that there was something interesting going on, but didn't really tease it apart. Uh, and that's because of the rolling shutter. So I thought I would try with an SLR. Uh, so I used my uh, Nikon D7000, which does not have a rolling shutter when it's taking still photos. It does for video. Um, but here you can really see the effect very nicely. So here's the iPhone 10 at full brightness. And uh, you can see that the, the streak as I move it through the air is really smooth. There's almost no discernible flicker at all. And then if I lower the brightness considerably, almost down to um, minimum brightness, you can see that there's this very pronounced on-off, on-off, on-off pattern uh, throughout the streak. So clearly there's something turning on and off very rapidly. I suspect it is uh, a technique that they're using with the OLED screen to, to dim it, where maybe they can't actually dim it so they need to flicker it rapidly. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know what the reasoning is here. Somebody had mentioned pulse width modulation. That seems to be the technique they're using, but I don't know the technical details as to why. And again, for comparison, um, I tried it with an iPhone 6s, which uh, does not have an OLED screen. It has an LCD screen. And here's full brightness. Again, we have these nice smooth blurs, but then here's the difference in low brightness you also have smooth blurs with no flickering at all. And this is because the iPhone 6S appears to use a different method of dimming the screen. I'm not sure why that would be because the backlight of an iPhone 6S is still LED based. So I don't know why it is actually different, but I thought it was interesting. And then here's the uh, Apple Watch again at full brightness with the SLR photo. And here it is at low brightness and you can see again it's really clear that they're not flickering it on and off, at least not in the same way, not in a way that my camera can detect it. So I thought that was kind of interesting.